Hello, my General Group A and the history and importance of the Saddam Fabway at the Namota Tonji, a Kana sat in Puli Town. Namo Dasa, the Kawato, the Kawato, Magoato, Rato, Bama, Sambo Dasa, Magoato, Dasa, Kawato, Arahato, Sambo Dasa. But a mass also not having a Madusa can take up by a signal. Singlava, our respected teachers and all Tamar friends, auspiciousness to you all. We would like to start according to our presentation is history and importance of Apitama analytical commentary. I am Tusa Kai. I would like to present behalf of Group A. Our topic is very wide, so we will divide up presentation by four group members. Firstly, I would like to present history of Abhidhamma. The term Abhidhamma, oh, <clears throat> our group member is um, nine members. The term Abhidhamma is consists of two words. That is Abhis and Dhamma. Abhis means higher, greater, more advanced and special. A B is high level of understanding. A B Dhamma means the teaching of Lord Buddha. A B Dhamma, therefore, is known as the higher teaching of all Lord Buddha. <clears throat> a B Dhamma is a text in which profound Dhamma, Dhamma is explained. The Dhamma is the ultimate reality, the disclosure of highly enlightened one. That is, because a B Dhamma is higher, more advanced, more profound, more subtle and technical than discourses. Abhidhamma explains the Dhamma in detail and in analytical ways. It is analysis of psychophysical phenomena in the whole universe and the ultimate realities. Actually, Abhidhamma was a very, very long sermon that is the longest sermon ever delivered by Lord Buddha. For that matter, the longest sermon delivered by any human being. In the year 588 BC, as a bodhisattva, he developed very powerful supernormal knowledge for former assistant and his could see of his past assistant, past activity, past event, and past experience. Up to his past experience, He saw also his by existence in turn of ultimate mentality and ultimate maturity, arising and punishing very quickly and continuously. 
connecting all his birth existence as long chain in continuous state of flux, like the flame of an oil lamp on the current of a river. Then the Bodhisattva developed very powerful supernormal knowledge of the divine powers or the divine eyes, who could see all living beings and inanimate things. 100,000 or wall system. He could see infiltrate the ultimate mentality and ultimate materiality arising and punishing all living beings. Moreover, he could ตามเจ้าตัวนะตามเจ้าตัวมาเลยเบกกะกะเลยโหอสินเนเลปิ่นหาไปบ่เนาะหัวเลยจมารุนายกาอินเทอร์เน็ตจองเลยผิดหน่
the longest sermon delivered by any human being. It was the intention of Lord Buddha that this sermon be expounded to the audience at the one sitting position. It was indeed a single marathon sermon. It is an inconceivable and physically impossible for any human being to listen to such a marathon sermon for the whole duration of three months. And first is, that is, marathon sermon ended only a few minutes for Tower Dana cause. That is one reason why Buddha espoused Abhidhamma in the wall of Tower Dana. God and not in human war. Lord Buddha seated on the Pandu Kamala stone, seated and <laughs> he expounded higher Abhidhamma in detail continually without break for three months. The Buddha could speak very clear and very quickly. He read or speak in 128 times faster than an average person. When the time came of going or along round, the Omissian Buddha created another identical Buddha and let the create Buddha bridge on Abhidhamma with a wise and manner like his own. The Buddha returned to human one every daily during on the period the shown of the Anatta Dali and not India to take his me and to attend to other necessary daily requirements. Venerable Arahat Sariputra went there to meet Buddha daily to attend to him. He was the most intelligent of all Arahats. That is, at the time, Buddha to give the gist and the guideline of Abhidhamma. Then he taught the Tawatenda on that day so that Venerable Sariputra could teach Abhidhamma in the human realm simultaneously. He taught Abhidhamma lesson of the median land in today what he learned to his 500 disciple monks. He taught only as much as it is as suitable to human being. He teaching well complain at seven great treaties and designated as Abhidhamma Responsatory. At the end of Abhidhamma teaching, 8,000 chorus of the devas and Brahma gods alighted to the four noble true and began noble person, Ariyas. The 500 disciple monks of the Banaruba Sariputra were also enlightened as Arahas, though disciple monk in Dantosh the other monks and ultimately most of the monks at the time learned the Abhidhamma, which is the special and higher teaching of all Buddhas. So Abhidhamma teaching was very important and beneficial. All the teaching of Abhidhamma by Venerable Sariputra began Abhidhamma Vitaka containing seven treaties. The seven treaties are the book of classification of Abhidhamma, Dhamma, Dhamma Sengani Bali, the book of analysis Vibhanga, that is, the book of discourses of elements, Tatu Gita, for the book of classification of individual Bukala Dinati by the Book of Points of Controversy, Katawushu, six, the Book of the Best, Yamaka, and the Books of Conditional Relation, Batana. I will stop here and another presentation to continue our group member, Ma Sinsen, Ma Sinsen. Please invite my sister. Yes. Good morning, all of the respected teachers and Dhamma friends. I'm Sinzanwe. Now I would like to continue the people on behalf of Group 8. The first Buddhist Council. The first great council was held soon after the demise of the Buddha with the support of King Ajarasaks. 
a most devoted follower for the Buddha and powerful kings of the North India. When all the principal disciples assembled together at the cities of Rajagaha in the Satapati cave and processed to recite, classify and arrange all the teachings of Buddha. In that great council in 546 BC, the three monks sings the Buddha state, the 500 great eras headed by the Venerable Mahakasapa, Venerable Ubali, Venerable Ananda, and Venerable Anuruddha. It was for seven monks on the fifth day after full moon day in the month of Vaga. The reason for holding this council was the evil words of harmful monks named Sogbata. A week after the Buddha had attained the reigning banner, when the Venerable Mahakaspa complete by 1,250 1, monks was coming to Kusinara from power. He had on the road seen the mass who were no free from grief, even due to the Supreme Buddha has attained the brain neighbor not. A man Subhadda spoke, friends do not limit, there is nothing to man in this matter. We were annoyed by the Gautama to do this, it is allowed to you. Do not do this, it is not a lot of it to you. But now we are able to do whatever we like, not to do what we do not like. On hearing this, Venerable Mahakasava thought that because of that harmful man, the teachings and works of Buddha will be disappeared quickly. This is the reason why the first council appeared. The second Buddhist council. 100 years after the first council during King Kalasoka, some disciples saw the need to change certain minor rules. The other those monks said that nothing should be changed when the others <clears throat> insist on modifying some disciplinary <coughs> rules, Vinaya. Thus, in this second council, 700 great monks added by Venerable Yasa, Venerable Rivera, and Venerable Savakami recite that's the doctrine. <clears throat> the Venerable Yasa was the pupil of the era Ananda, who was bestowed by the blessed one in the respect of five excellent points. When those intelligence eras had had a second great council at Vesali in 443 BC for eight monks with the support of King Kalasoka and had maintained the doctrines of the Buddha. The that Buddhist council in the third century, about 308 BC, during the times of the Damasoka came, who reigned in the cities of Badli Buddha and had feigned in the doctrines of Buddha owing to the Novit Nijorda. The gain and honors of the orders of Manx well in abundance. At the, time, at the time, the heretics, at least 60,000 and launched for gain and honor, and they ordered not projects and initiate their reason for uploading religion. Thus, 1,000 great eras headed by Venerable Mogli Bhutta Deksa, Medjandika, and Mahadeva recited the doctrine for the third time, and they uphold their religion. The King Damasoka opposed the religions by having examined the doctrines of her Jews. I spelled them from the religion at the end of this council. The president of the council, Venerable Mogli Bhutta, completed a book called Katavitu, Refrogging the Herdiga. First views and theories held by some disciples. Um, the teachings a proof and asset by this council was known as Theravada, the Abhidhamma Pitaka, was discussed and included in this council. The founding of religion in nine places one by one. Thereafter, a venerable Mogli Buddha Desa considered, well, well, the reasons of the Supreme Buddha 
of the blessed when we be well founded. When he thought that the religions of Supreme Buddha would be well established in the country outside the middle country, he sent the great eras one by one to the nine regions in order to establish the religions of the Supreme Buddha for the purpose of ordinations there. So the Venerable Thera Mahinda arrived in Sri Lankan Island. The founding of Buddhist religion in nine spread places. In this way, for a long time, since the lifetimes of Buddha. The suggestions of great elders by an orally handed down their canonical texts. The ancient great elders were able to make, maintain it even orally due to their abundance of their mindfulness, wisdom, and concentration. The Fourth Buddhist Council. The council, which was held in Sri Lanka in 450 years after Buddha Brainabhanat, under the encouragement of the five pious king Buddha Kamini, at the time the 500 great elders who had came come down gradually, through that in future beings of poor mindfulness, wisdom, and concentration will not be able to bear in mind. The canonical death, it was caused the three Pitika to be written in books together with the commentary in the Aloka cave. That the three Pitika were first committed to written. It was called Fourth Council. The three Pitika, the Pitika consists of three sessions of the Buddha's teaching. There are discipline, Vinaya Pitika, the discourse of the Pitika and the ultimate doctrine Abhidhamma Pitika. The fifth great council. The fourth great council were held in Sri Lanka in about 29 BC, where the original teachings of Buddha in the form of Pali texts were committed to written for the first time. As it was then felt that it would no longer be safe under modern conditions to leave such virtual teaching to human memory. Thus, the fifth Buddha Great Council was held in Mandalay, Pama. Only in the 25th century after Buddha, headed by Jagra Tera, with the support of King Mindo. At the time, the whole Tivika was inscribed uh, on 729 marvel slabs, placed as the foot of Mandalay Hill in Kudora Pagoda. After recorded on marvel slabs, the three monasteries took the responsibility of the residing the Tibetika text. The sixth great council. There have been five great council, Buddhist council, all for the purpose of the examinations and recensions of the teachings of the Buddha. With the view to preserving the same in this pristine beauty. The sixth great council was held in Rangun Bama. Commencing at the full moon of May 2,498 years after the demix of Buddha, and ending on the 2,500 anniversary uh, at the council, the Tibetika was resided in Bali, and steps were taken towards translating it into some more modern languages. The Great Council had the collaborations and participation of the land banks of Bama, um, Sri Lanka, Thailand, Cambodia, Laos, India, Nepal, then Japan, Tibet, Vietnam, Korea has a mass wider significance than any of the previous great councils. 500 Buddhist monks in Burma who are well versed in the study and the practice of the teachings of the Buddha take their responsibilities of re <coughs> examining the text. This council's work was a unique achievement in Buddhist history. After the scriptures had been examined through really several times, they were put into print covering. 52 treatises in 40 
volumes. Let me stop here. Let me invite you to continue reading the PayPal Muslims in Kaim. Welcome to Muslims in Kaim. Please join us. Good morning, all of the teachers and all of the Dhamma friends. I am Zinzin Kai. Now I discuss the foolishness of the Abidama. According to the historical record, Abidama once introduced the Siri Linga by the Venerable Mie Mahinja, leaders of the Buddhist missionary group sent by the King Asokat around the BC 326. Since Abidama had flourished in Siri Linga for the one and a half thousand years. In the 9th century AD, they appear in the Siri Linga in Nama of the scholar meant were experienced in the Abhidhamma. The more famous scholar was Vinayeva Anotra. He wrote his celebrated both the companions of the Abhidhamma, Abhidhamma Metta Singara, the companions of the philosophy. Actually, Abhidhamma is also profound more psychology and physiology of the Buddhist teaching that it is hard to understand. Thus, the scholar need easy access to that subject by the board of the Abhidhamma Metta Singara. It is so small compared to the commentaries on the Buddhist Pali text. It is known as the Little Finger Commentary, where known as the Tenjo Test in Myanmar. However, Abhidhamma story had been declined in the Sri Lanka from the 60th century onward. It is in Myanmar that at present Abhidhamma is flourishing more than in Sri Lanka or any other Theravada countries. This is the arrival and flourishings of the Abhidhamma in Myanmar. Historical records show that there were Buddhist men who were experienced in the Tipitaka three biscuit of the Buddhist spirituals during the reigns of the King Manuha in the Tatong Kingdom in the 11th century AD, in the year 1057 AD. King Anoyata, 1044 to the 1077 AD, brought the Tipitaka to Bagan after unifying the entire country. Since then, Theravada Buddhism in forest in Bagan. Historical records show that a significant number of the people of Bagan studied the Abhidhamma in those days. The reigns of the King Joshua, 1235 to the 1000. Then 249 AD was the glory days of the Abhidhamma in early Myanmar history. According to the historical record, King Anoyata himself was an outstanding Abhidhamma scholar. He wrote a small book of the Abhidhamma name, Abhidhamma Windu, points of the reality. The king also gave the daily lectures on the Abhidhamma to men and laymen. It was says that not only men but also high white studied the Abhidhamma in those days. This is the appearance of the foragings of the analytical commentary. The Abhidhamma studied the continuous subject during the reigns of the King Dalo 1629 to the 1658 AD. Vinayiva Tampilaseyado. Uh, Muninga Gosa wrote the analytical commentaries on the Abhidhamma on contents. Both of the of the element, both of pay and the both of the conditional relation. This paved the way for the appearance of the more analytical commentary, Kongbaum PDA 1753 to the 1885, also saw a high point in the Abhidhamma study. Mm -hmm. Abhidhamma was the priest cry as the Compulsory subject in the monastery examination. Every the lay people became interested and studied Abhidhamma. During the reigns of the King Singhu, 1776 to the 1782 AD, Tanda Binsayaro Vinayeva Ashinanda Meda wrote the analytical commentaries Ayakal on the Abhidhamma. His commentaries are well known for their prescriptions and accuracy. His more famous analytical commentaries are analytical commentary on the books of pay and the analytical commentary of the book of the Pramatana. Those commentary remains to be the test post for the government sponsor, Patamajis and the Abhidhamma examination. During the British colonial rule, Lady Sayaro Ashin Nyana Daza 
1886 to the 1880 wrote over 100 books on the various aspects of the Buddhism. In 1897, Lady Sayaro wrote the treatise on the reality Paramatta Dipani, which is very critical of the boat Ripawini. This boat Lady Sayaro point out the number of mistake in the Weba Wini and offer in Hong's commentary. Ushwe a famous Buddhist scholar, first translated the Abhidhamma Singha Heart into English. His book entitled Companion of the Philosophy also contained his own commentaries. This is the propagation of the Abhidhamma in Myanmar in the post-war period. A founding of the Abhidhamma Propagation Association on 15 May 1945 was a milestone in the propagation of the Abhidhamma in Myanmar. Abhidhamma scholar Usampe, Upaba, Ucho, Uden, Utenyo, and the Uchipe found the Abhidhamma Propagation Association (ABA). Usampe was the first chairman of the ABA. Before his, for the before it event, Abhidhamma study were accessible only to the men. APA made accessible to lay people by organizing courses in the Abhidhamma, not only for men and men, but also for the lay people. It also the Abhidhamma examinations and the comfort title on successful candidate men and men and lay people. APA has been engaged in the activities of the propagation Abhidhamma in Myanmar for more than seven decades now. This is the International Institute of the Abhidhamma, the University of the Abhidhamma. The another significant landmark is the propagation Abhidhamma was the asset base of the IA on the 30th June 2007. At the conference of the University of the Theravada Buddhist country, had the Popa in Myanmar 9 March 2007, delegate from the other Theravada Buddhist country, request that since Myanmar is the most advanced country in the Fees of the Abhidhamma. Myanmar should take lease and assembly and university specializing in Abhidhamma. According in request us to the international climate mm -hmm. for an Abhidhamma university. Climates and the impassions okay. of the advice of the Sidaku Siaro, Dauda Ashina Nisra, PhD delays the preparatory Abhidhamma in the English to the foreigners and Myanmar mm -hmm. nation. I opened the first courses to masters in the Abhidhamma in English in the first October 2008. It was granted the superior diploma, BA degree, BA honors degree, MA degree, PhD degree courses in the Abhidhamma in English, step by step as the second parents permit. The asset premiums of the IA was an important milestone in the history of the Abhidhamma and were given an emphasis to the propagation of the Abhidhamma within the countries and the world war. This is the propagation of the Abhidhamma in the West country. About in the 1945, Vinayiva Sayaro who taught the Abhidhamma Pitaka, the psycho ethnic ethnic analysis of the themes in their ultimate sense as the against their conceptual foreign. To the worst find the way of the commencing to teach a small manual Abhidhamma Metta Singha to a class of the students interested in the Buddhist teaching. It is it was very first time in West the premier to the Abhidhamma. This is the importance of Abhidhamma the Abhidhamma is an uh, analytical doctrine of the mental faculties and element. The Abhidhamma Patika is the content in the profound moral psychologies and physiologies of the Abhidhamma teaching. It is only in Abhidhamma that explanations are given on how and at which manner even a person can, can create good and bad karmas. Volitional thought according to his desires and other mental states of further. In addition, we found that clear explanations of the natures of the different mental faculties and precise analytical inter interpretations of the elements. So this is an important correction of the discourses. There are understandings that Dhamma thought the knowledge came from the Sota 
is like as a knowledge acquired from the story, the presecretions or the different types of the sickness. Such knowledge when administrator can sure have to the cure particular types of the sickness. On the other hand, a qualified physician with his precise knowledge can diagnose on the extensive range of the sickness and discover their causes. This specialized knowledge put him a better situation to the preside more affected remedy. Similarly, a person who studied the epidemic can better understand all the natures of the mind and analyze their mental state, which cause a human being to make the mistake and develop the mind to avoid evil. The epidemic instructs that the ego egoistic benefits of other concepts such as the eye, you, man, and the world, which we use in the daily conversions, do not sufficiently describe the real nature of the existence. The conventional concepts do not reveal the transient nature of the pressure and certainties in permanence of the every component thing and the conflict among the elements and power innate in all living or non-living things. Abitama doctrine give a clear exposition of the ultimate natures of the man and contest the analysis of the human condition further than other study known to man. This is the philosophy of Abhidhamma. Abhidhamma is a philosophy in such immerse us in detail with the more general cause and principles of them. It is also an ethnic system because it is anywhere one to realize the ultimate goal, Nibbana. As it deals with the walking of the mind, thought realize the thought through the process and psychic factor. It is also the system of the psychology. Therefore, Abhidhamma is the generally translated as the psycho-ethnic philosophies of the Buddhism. This is the Abhidhamma deal with the ultimate reality, or the ultimate reality that really exists in all livings and the in whole universe. There are four types of the reality, Pramata Dhamma, Seta, that the minds of the consciousness, the fine as we know the experience and object, Seta occur a distant temporary state of the consciousness. Siddhatika, the matter factor thus arise and occur along with the Seta. Rupa, matter, physical phenomena of the material form. Nibbana, the unconditioned states of the bridge, what is the final goal? Out of the, these four reality mind, matter factors and matter are related reality subject to the law or chain. Nibbana is the only ultimate reality, no subject to law or the chain. Abhidhamma deal with these four reality and their interrelationships and expound them in detail by employing a wide range of the method that are unis. It is difficult to understand the original higher teaching Abhidhamma. A knowledge of the companions of philosophy, Abhidhamma Metta Singhara is a Previous requisites for the true understandings of the original higher teachings of Abhidhamma. By learning the companions of the philosophy, Abhidhamma Metta Singhara is known as a little finger commentary, where known as a Dinjota in Smyama. Abhidhamma is essential for the Dhamma practice. It is dependent on the individual who entertains the practice. People define in their levels of understanding. They are inner natures and the mental development. Some people are quite satisfied with the devotional practice based on the faith. Others are interested in the developing penetrated insight. So, Abhidhamma is useful to those who want to understand in the depth and detail. It has the development of the insight into the โอ้มิวผิดตัวเลยเนาะโอ้มัสซิงไกน์ที่อ่ะเลยอัตตามะจ้าเราရှင်มัสซิงไกน์อัตตามะจ้าเราရှင်ไมค์ปုံสันนี
It is useful not only for the previous or former meditation, but also during the rest of the day when we are faced in the various normal tests. We receive the great benefit from the studies of epidema when we experience a so blue reality. In addition, the comprehensive knowledge of the epidema is useful for those faced in the teachings and explaining the dhamma. In first, the real remaining the most important Buddhist technology such as the dhamma, karma, sankhara, sansara, prasa, samupada, and the nibbana cannot be the end of without a knowledge or epidema. Meditation is a practice to train our mind. It should support us to convert our mind from convert uh, covetous states of the mind to generosity, from the aversions to loving kindness, from unhappiness to happiness, from negativity to positive, from miserable state to tranquility, and from suffering to the cessation of suffering. There are two techniques to develop mentality. One pointedness, samatha, the techniques of the mental development leading to the mental tranquility. Inside meditation, vipassana, a techniques of the mental development leading to the special completing of and detachment from the conditioned things. There are foundations of the inside meditations are serenities and concentrations of the mentality. In epitome consists of the predicate methodologies of the meditation, conditional reality, ultimate reality, and comprehensive guide to contemplate and escape from the rounds or river. To begin with the one, the walls of the highest veneration had ever had taught this symmetric comprehensive analysis of the conventional realities and ultimate realities based on the resultant efforts of the purifications of the mind, which became attained as the supermandrain part and fruition. Thus, a bit more knowledge can out of the insight meditation of the mindfulness vipassana. Hence, vipassana is the most reliable test of the validity of the abhidhamma. This is the important doctrines of the abhidhamma. This important doctrines of the abhidhamma and the four nova to dependent on ori origination, the conditional relation. Avoid all the important doctrines are the causes of the analysis method. The methods are different in their functions and applications, so we can apply to the daily life and all areas of the human endeavor. The four noble truths are very important assets of the Buddha teachings. The four noble truths is a problem solving method that we can apply in the daily life and all feet of the human endeavor. The Buddha said that if you don't understand the four noble truths, the body said that if we don't understand the four noble truths that we have continued to go around in the cycle of the blood and death. Also, the Lord of the dependent origination is one of the important teachings of the Buddha. It is one of the very well known and very important discourses because without the accept the teachings of the rather difficult to understand why and how one began beings and a human being and then expect one know did the banner or origination uh praise us more but one cannot begin to understand the real natures and fashion or cause and effect the lack of the knowledge do is a lack of the knowledge of the four noble truth it is very important for us to understand the four noble truth because it is the ignorance of the deep truth that are trapped in toward us all in the endless cycles of the birth and death. The Buddhist epidemic laid down a comprehensive and the detailed methodologies of the kosher analysis. Dio method is one of the kosher analysis method. The conditional conditional relation in epidema, conditional relation is a more advanced. It is generate the phenomena of the cause and effect. It may be linked to an electronic microscope. It's investigated in the most sophisticated and detailed manner causal effect and causal relation among the physical and mental events. 
All beings are living with the conditional relation. It is every moment of their life. All other central dovla of the bodhisattvas are included in the conditional relation. For instance, the banal origination is included in the conditional relation. The first link, ignorance is there is a ramification of the first condition relation, root condition. Many other conditional, conditional relations are appreciable to the ignorant and to other link or the, the banal origination. The first two or the four novel true, the true or the suffering is the subject condition. The second true is the truth of the origin of suffering is a ramification of the first conditional relation, root condition. Many other conditional relations are appreciable to the four novel true. Moreover, conditional relations are appreciated to every access of the life, even tribal and incident, for instance, enjoying our delicious land and the dinner can be explained with the reference to the object condition, proximity condition, connection condition, nutrition condition, and etc. Learning a foreign language, studying epidema can be explained with the reference to the reputation condition, predominance condition, and etc. The practicing the insight meditation or the mindfulness, vipassana can be explained in the terms of the object condition, reputation condition, part condition, etc. So all the personal problem can be solved by applying the root condition part condition and based on the principle of the four novel true. Same as all national programs and the international program. Thank you for your attention. Now I would like to invite the Asian Inda Wanda to discuss the next presentation. Good morning. I would like to wish the remaining of our ten people, the seven pushing at the map. I shall now go slightly to the seven portion that the ma, which at the ma wish to be attended with energy and determination by those persons watching to practice the matter, came and reversed inside, and thus made the great opportunity of revive as a human being within the present order such as now would one. Briefly, the Bojinga Dhamma consists of seven kinds, namely, one, Sati Sambojinga, two, Dhamma Wichya Sambojinga, three, Uriya Sambojinga, four, Piti Sambojinga, five, Pasadi Sambojinga, six, Samadiri Sambojinga, and seven, Kubaka Sambojinga. The Sati Siddhi Ka Madhupadas for Sati Patana, Satendri, Satibala, Samadeshi, Samasati, Majinga is Sati Samodinga. Then the Demabucha, Sinya, Sidiga, Himan, Sidi, Bala, Bada, Sunindri, Binya Bala, Samadeshi, Majinga are all Mabucha, Samodinga. Alternatively, the five Sinya, Visodi, beginning with Deti Visodi, the three Nupa Sada Pasana Yana, the ten Vesana Yana are for the Mawisha Samojinga. There is cotton this uh, male cast as a dust to as to produce cotton who of who the roses of respect rewardly during the five kind of the function of Vesana Yana is called. The Uriya Sidiriga called Samabadana Uriya Sidiriga Uriya Sidiriga Uriya Bala and 
ตัวจ้างเนี่ยให้เป็นเนี่ยเดี๋ยวพี่เอาวันเดี๋ยวโปรเซสออฟซินแอนด์นูอินอินครีสอัพเดอร์ซิตเตอร์เนาะเตอร
you will see good two of immorality. Then they become practice in meditation and vipassana. All the more you can sit in the punish. Therefore, Vidima is the important rule of the, truth, the daily life problem in individual level, community level, and national level. Conclusion. The reason of why Vidima exists for a long time is the suppose of both men and kings who are Admire and believe in Vidima. If people can understand about Vidima, people will come to realize that Vidima can give positive and effective benefit. And people can also solve problems which are present in daily life if they acknowledge about the six most analogous methods which are explained in this Sambhiva. To conclude, if people can do meditation practice in the right to do. They can finally pursue the real peaceful life. And it is greatest opportunity and privilege to write this Tempiba to honor and to show our respect to Lord Buddha and his teaching. Also, we love to make an appreciation and commission of all our teachers all for they are kindly teaching to us. Particularly, we think to Sikhu Siyaro Ashin Yanisra, Raja Siyaro Dada Nandam Mala Bivinsa, Patron Siyaro and Raja of Wabi University, Siyaro Dada Jodhika, Lake Siyaji Dada Umyata, Lake Siyamaji, the Umyat, Pusamwe Reservoir of University of Vidma and Prosesta, and our Colleagues, for those who are teaching and sharing their great experience and useful philosophy. We also many things to all the steps from the University of Bidima for spending their valuable time for the students' facilitation. Education. We were trying our best to assess our time people historical and important of Vidima analytical community by which us the leaders benefit to see to know about the background and essence of Vidima. We grew a risk of being will be happy, healthy, worthy and long life. We bought us satana exist forever in war. In the wall. Thank you all. All to my friends. Thank you for everyone in group eight. No Brabazo, Mego, Mimian, and Sizen, Sadema, Mego, Mimian, and Kama. No, Chira Lua, Mira Lua, Sibia. ပါလို့မေးမြမှုဆောင်ရတာပါတယ်။ဘာဘောဆုံးမေးမြမဲ့သူကတော့အဲ့မှာတခုတော့သတိပေးရင်မှာတယ်ဒီဖွဲ့
ဘာဆိုရင်ဆရာမတော်အေးမြန်ပထမဆုံးအေးမြန်မှာဖြစ်ပါတယ်။ဒါလာတင်ရှိတယ်ရှိနေတယ်။ဒါလာတင်ရှ
ตติยตังกายนากาတော့ตาตนาတော့เนี่ยนှက်ထောင်းနှိပ်ရသုံးစံ ကထာဝတ္ထုကြမ်းကိုလဲဟောကြရမှာအဘိတမာခုနှစ်ကြမ်းကအဲ့ဒီတတိယတိုင်းမှာအာလုံးပြီးပြေဆုံးသွားပါ
ဟုတ်ပါပြီနောက်တစ်ချက်ကဒီပုဂ္ဂလပညာကျန်းပေါ့ဒီအဖိဒမှာခေါ်နှစ်ကျန်းကိုလဲစက်စပ်ထားတာ
thousand mali. If people if people can understand about a bit of ma, people will come to realize that a bit of ma can give so really. Any survey cleaning it, mommy to do shin hard and not even ma. Oh, my Jaga Glee, you will be like a massati. ဆိုပြီလို့ရတာမှာဟုတ်ပြီလို့ရတဲ့ရရင်ဖြေပြီးလိုက်ပါเนาะဟုတ်ပြီလို့ရတဲ့ရရင်ဖြေပြီးလိ